This is my new drywall caddy that I built last week. I took it out on one job so far and I really I really like it. This is a upgrade or improvement upon my original one. Let me go over this. Why I like it better than this and the shortcomings of this one. The first difference you'll notice is that this is built a little bit different. This is more of a box. It actually has a bottom where this one doesn't. So I actually thought by storing the knives like this, any moisture from cleaning it or any joint compound would have a better chance of either dripping down or drying. But what I noticed is when you go and set this down on an uneven surface, it's more likely to tip over or just not sit right. So having a full bottom is much better in my opinion. And I also thought that not having a bottom would save on weight, but I'd rather have a base now um, after using this for a while. So my first one actually did a good job of holding all the knives. The slots were very useful. It held the knives really well. Um, one thing I didn't get right is the height of this. So actually the knives over, they come out. So I needed to make this bigger. So that's reflected into this new design. And on this one, you see the knife storage. And on the other side, there's more knife storage. But that's all that this can do. So, in other words, it's not very efficient. Whereas this one can hold all the knives I need, like so. But additionally, on the other side, it holds my mud pan, my papers, my paper tapes, mesh tapes, some sponges, and I have a yogurt can of screws. And I made a little holster here for a drywall knife. And I could just, oh yeah, and a drywall saw. And everything just goes in. And it's all in one caddy. This could not do that. So for most typical repairs, everything in here is all I need. And in a much bigger tote, I keep my joint compound and pole sanders. So I actually like this, but then I saw a video by the Vancouver Carpenter, and that's what partly inspired me to make this. And um, yeah, I like it a lot. So I'll just go over dimensions and um, how it was made. So basically this was made using all scrap half inch birch plywood that I had. Excluding the handle here, this is just one by material. But all of this is half inch. It's about 15 and 5 eighths wide. Or, or long I should say. And nine and a half wide, and eleven and a quarter tall. So the height depends on what, how long or tall your drywall knives are. So this is perfectly in line with the handle and the top. So if I were to put anything up top, it wouldn't damage my knives. And I have four little slots here. I made them using a track saw 
Um, I only made four because that's all I needed. It holds all the knives that I need. And I made sure this opening here would fit my mud pan. All right, so that's where I got the dimensions for. And this right here is just a piece of leather I had. And I just screwed the ends into this corner. And that's where my, how, it, how that goes. My sponges were a little bit too tall, so I just cut a little bit maybe about an eighth of an inch on a miter saw so they could fit like that. If you have any questions about this or have any comments you would like to make, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.